My friends, greetings and peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul encourages us to let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who did not insist upon asserting his own privilege or prerogatives, but who emptied himself of his rights and suffered for the well-being of others. Over the past several weeks, in response to concerns over the spread of the COVID-19 virus, we in the Episcopal Church have suspended in-person gatherings and emptied our church buildings in order to protect one another and our neighbors from the spread of COVID-19. Far from ceasing to worship, however, these actions follow what our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, has called the rubric of love. To walk in the footsteps of Jesus is to walk the way of love, which is our highest service to God. This lean season has taught us to love one another in deeper ways, as we have come to appreciate our family in Christ all the more. We are experimenting with new ways of gathering virtually for prayer and mutual encouragement. Many of us have become more intimately acquainted with the treasure trove of worship and devotion bound up in our Book of Common Prayer. The daily office is receiving renewed attention and lay leadership is growing. Despite the limitations of this moment, the Holy Spirit of God continues to draw us together, binding us in love for one another around the rites and liturgies of our tradition. As a result, we continue to grow stronger in faith and more unified in resolve as we answer the call placed upon us by Jesus Christ. We are all eager to return to gathering in person. However, our joyful anticipation should be tempered with wisdom. We must move forward carefully, not existing in fear, but moving forward with care and prudence. As Christ is exalted through humility and service, so we will continue to seek the safety of everyone. Today, I am offering guidelines to resume in-person worship with that very intention, that in every step we take together in this new normal, we will continue to be directed by the liberating and life-giving love of God, respecting the dignity and welfare of every human being. After a great deal of prayer, in consultation with state and local officials and with health care authorities, and receiving advice and consideration from many of you, the clergy and the laity of this diocese, I am issuing guidelines which will allow for the resumption of in-person worship, effective Sunday, June the 14th. In the time between today and that day, I am encouraging congregations to prepare by acquiring the necessary applies, supplies to address the required sanitizing protocols in the guidelines. I want to make it clear that congregations are not required to resume in-person worship if they cannot, one, meet these guidelines, or two, if they have concerns for the health and safety of church members, staff, or clergy. Our intent with these guidelines is to provide us the safest possible environment to once again resume worshiping together physically. I want us also to be aware that these guidelines may be modified or worship once again may be suspended, depending on public health conditions or the guidance by health authorities or public officials. My friends, I want to say to you, thank you. Thank you for your patience over these last several weeks as we have been unable to gather together in person. And I invite you to please, as best as you are able, to follow the guidelines that we are provided so that we can all enjoy gathering once again together, celebrating the love and peace of Jesus Christ. May God continue to bless us and may God see us through this time. Amen.